Welcome to this Java Break with Basis. This is the next of our continuing mini-series of how version 11 improves your bottom line. Today we'll talk about one of the most exciting new features that we've added to Barista, our flagship product for rapid application development of your GUI projects. My name is Nico Spence. I'm the Chairman and CEO of Basis International. And today I'll be joined by Sam Velopis, who will be doing some demonstrations of these new features in Barista, and by Paul Yeomans, who will tell you more about how you can take advantage of Barista in your application code. But let's get started. Our agenda will kick off with a refresher on what Barista does. We'll talk about the new query definitions. Then we'll have a demonstration of those query definitions. We'll then talk about the one-step export to Dockout, and again we'll have a demonstration of that in action from within our SQL inquiry engine, and therefore from our new query definition capability. And then I'll hand over to Paul to talk about the Barista promotion, and give you some tips on how it improves your bottom line. And then we'll take your questions, but let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about Barista. Barista is Basis' data dictionary-based application development framework and runtime engine. It facilitates your new GUI application development, as well as conversion of existing character-based applications to GUI, or your modernization of any existing GUI applications, be they Visual Pro 5 applications or applications written in another GUI language. Barista's standard framework handles navigation for you, handles the display, the searching, and file maintenance. It really does away with a lot of the hassle factor of creating graphical code. It interactively links the database to the user, takes your data, and turns it into a business application. It delivers functional GUI applications on multiple platforms. So if you're running on a Windows desktop, or an Apple Mac desktop, or wish to run on a Linux desktop, those are all available as output platforms for your application solution. And they can be run simultaneously. It's a modern look and feel. It meets all the GUI standards for keyboard and mouse navigation. And it has a built-in SQL-based inquiry engine, more of which we'll talk about today in the enhancements. Developers receive enormous productivity gains by using this tool for both initial product development and more particularly for future application maintenance and naturally for future enhancements to the application where we preserve the ability to maintain enhancements through the upgrade cycle. Users can often self-serve casual reporting needs via the inquiry engine. And our focus today will be to talk about the enhancements to that inquiry engine. So over time, we've received significant enhancement requests for the inquiry engine. It's proved to be so useful to any of our Barista developers that they've requested more functionality be added to really take it to almost the point of being a mini reporting engine. They have wanted access to multiple tables, including virtual tables. They want the ability to use stored procedures to create those virtual tables and join them with physical tables. They want to apply filters to the result set before being presented within the inquiry engine. They want to be able to create calculated columns, derive columns from existing columns in the tables. They want to be able to total those columns. And they want to be able to sort on multiple columns. In other words, sort on the first column and then sort on a successive second column within the first column. And finally, they want to be able to output the results of that query to a report dynamically, as quickly, and as efficiently as possible. Well, the good news is that in version 11.10, these enhancements are delivered. So let's set the scene for our demonstration. We're going to create a custom query of our data. We're going to link multiple tables to the query. We're going to create new columns, derive new columns from the existing columns. We're going to add the query to a form, use it as the default query from a form. We're going to filter the resultant query and quickly output the result to your favorite formatted output. And we're going to use the new query definition capability to create this functionality. So without further ado, let me hand over to Sam Velopis to take us through the demonstration of this new functionality. The first Barista enhancement we'll be reviewing is the new Query Definition System, a powerful addition to the existing inquiry capabilities. You can find the Query Definition form on the Barista Development menu under Inquiries. Start by entering a Query ID and Description.
Enter the primary select table used for the query. In our case, we'll be using the customer table from the Barista Examples subsystem. Next, select the query type, whether it's a single row selection, multiple row selection, or view only. For our query, we're going to use a single row selection. Select the additional options as needed. Use control value as the default search criteria on the incoming query. Allow user to move columns. Allow user to define filters. Allow output to the Barista document output system. And allow copy of the result set to the clipboard. Next, enter the licensing information for your application. At this point, we can save what we've entered. Our next step is to add the query columns. This can be accomplished one of two ways. First, simply go to the detail portion of the form and enter the desired columns. The second way is to access the additional options menu and select Generate Columns. This will display a list of all columns available on the primary SQL select table. In this case, exm underscore customer. Select the desired columns and press Enter. For our case, we'll be using sales year to date, sales last year, customer ID, phone, salesperson, and company. All the selected columns are returned to the query definition. You'll notice I selected six columns, but it returned seven. Element definitions contain the validation data for selected pieces of information in your application. In this case, we know that salesperson validates to the sales rep table and displays the name. The query definition system automatically returns both and will create the join automatically. Our next step is to set the default column sequence. This can be done by accessing the additional options menu, set column sequence. A list of all columns currently defined on the query are displayed. To change the sequence, select the column, move it up or down, or double click on the desired column and drag it. The correct sequence is now returned to the query. Column aliases can also be added to each of the columns defined in the query. Let's change the sales year to date to YTD and the sales last year to LY. This will reduce the amount of typing needed for some of the additional options we'll be adding. Let's save our changes. One of the powerful additions to the new query system is the ability to define calculated columns in your query. We can do that by clicking on the column type and selecting calculation. We then need to enter an element type that contains the display attributes for the type of column we're adding to the query. In this case, I know there's an element type called PCT value. The column alias is PCT. And for the column heading, we're going to call it percent %LY. We're adding a column that will calculate the percent of this year's sales versus last year. Let's expand this grid row so we can enter our calculation. The calculation field uses the same syntax found in the rest of Barista. We simply enclose the columns in brackets. In our case, the calculation will be the Y to date YTD column alias divided by the last year column times 100. We will save that. And while we're at it, let's make a couple other modifications. Another powerful feature is the ability to total columns. Let's click on the sales year to date column, expand the record, and check column total. Barista will now automatically calculate anything found in that column and present a total row at the bottom of the query. 
Let's do the same for sales last year. And let's save our changes. Our next step is to define the SQL select statement. Simply right click, select generate SQL. Barista automatically defines the SQL based on the data entered in the column detail. You'll notice it does the joins necessary for the salesperson name. So we're now accessing two tables. This is another powerful enhancement over the existing inquiry system. You can do unlimited joins, access any number of tables. Once the SQL is completed, you can make any modifications. Simply check the override generated SQL syntax and from this point you can edit this to include any other types of modifications you would want. Anything such as stored procedures, uh, subqueries, anything else can be added to this. Barista will automatically add the where and order by clauses as the user selects or enters their selection criteria. Let's save our query as it stands. We can now test the completed query definition by accessing our additional options menu and selecting test query. Barista will compile the definition and display the query. You'll notice it's got the columns we've defined including the joins necessary to bring up the salesperson's description from the secondary table from the exm underscore sales rep table. In addition, it has the, cal the column calculation used for percent of last year's sales. And if we scroll down, you'll notice we've now got our total row for the sales year to date and sales last year columns. We can now add our defined query to the customer form. Let's exit our test query and the query definitions and launch the Barista Form Manager. Let's double click on EXM Customer. By default, EXM Customer will use the standard Barista Inquiry System automatically generated for each form. By going to Inquiry Options, double clicking and selecting Customer Sales, We've now replaced that inquiry with the new defined query. Let's go ahead and run the form. Now when you press the binoculars, the newly defined query will display. The same holds true for column queries. As new queries are defined, you can go to any of your column attributes and simply go down to inquiry option and select the desired query that you've defined. Let's review the features of the new query definition system. First, you'll notice hyperlinks are now underlined. So to display the master record for a highlighted or hyperlinked piece of data, simply click and the form will be displayed. Multiple columns can now be sorted. By clicking on a column, and then holding shift and clicking on another column, you'll now get a secondary sort based on the primary and the secondary sorting. To reverse the sorting on any of the columns, simply hold shift, press it again. To break the multiple sorting, simply select on a single column without holding the shift key. You can sort on any defined column except for calculations. You can also sort on the secondary description pulled from the join tables. Filtering for the queries is now in line. To access filters, press the filters button and the filter panel will display at the bottom half of the query form. The filter panel is made up of three sections. The filter wizard which lets you build a filter step by step, the save filter which lets you save filter criteria under a specific name for later use, and then the column filter grid where you can manually enter filter information. For instance, I can enter equal BAR, salesperson equal to BAR. You'll notice when I hit enter it automatically does the filtering. I can also do it from this point. I can clear all I can say equal to BAR, press add, 
It adds it to the grid and redoes the query. At this point, I can also save the filter, VAR customers, and press save. You'll notice it's added to the filter drop-down list as one of my options. So if I exit this query and re-enter it at a later time, I have my BAR customer filter with all the criteria automatically loaded. Another filter addition is the contained in, where I can list a series of values. I can say is contained in, and let's select, let's select multiple salespersons. Is contained in BAR add CAU add. The in statement is another way of saying equal to ABC or DEF. The new query system also contains the same powerful dock out features available in the current Barista inquiry system. Right clicking on the grid and selecting print will send this query in its current state to the dock out system. From here we can create any number of output types. The document output selection form will let us create PDF, CSV, text, XLS, and XML files, formatted or unforwarded, formatted. On disk, we can send emails, faxes, upload to Google Docs, and launch the target document once the processing is completed. We can also send the document directly to a Google Doc repository. Next, we'll review some additional document output options available in the new query system. As you've previously seen, a right click on the grid and selecting print will send this query in its current state to the document output system. From there, using the document output selection form, you can create any number of file types based on the source document. We've also got the ability to directly create the document type without going through the document output system. Right click on the grid, select export records, and select one of the direct types available. In this case we'll select tab delimited text. Barista generates the tab delimited text file and immediately launches the application associated with a .txt file. Selecting a .csv file will launch a comma-separated text file in the application associated with a .csv, in this case, Microsoft Excel. However, you'll notice the columns are not correctly aligned and the column types are incorrect. In that case, we can use a direct to XLS option. This creates a native spreadsheet file that is launched directly by the application associated with your .xls extension. You'll notice the difference here. We've now got columns with the correct width and the correct format. This spreadsheet can be modified, saved, and then accessed at any time through the document inquiry system. If you'll notice, it's document 1010475. We can close Excel, launch the Barista document inquiry system, right click on document 1010475, open document, and it will launch the application associated with the .xls file using the file that we've created. 
This type of direct output linking allows you to bypass any of the normal doc out steps and lets you quickly generate the type of output file required. Thanks, Sam. We've spoken quite a bit about the powerful Barista tool and the enhancements that have been added to version 11. Basis has decided to really kickstart this thing and extend a promotion that we had running last year, and let's take a look at that. To successfully deploy a new application, a developer's client must run on the Enterprise Edition of the current Basis technology and, of course, have Barista. Costs for these requirements include the license upgrade, any reinstatement fees, the addition exchange, and of course the cost of Barista itself. The Barista promotion provides developers with a fast track to deploying their Barista applications by lowering the initial cost to the customer. The promotion offers a substantial cost savings by converting a customer's license to an annual subscription license and waiving fees and the cost of Barista itself. Under the promotion, you receive one year of the SAM plan, of course the Enterprise Edition, and the Barista development tool. Basis would pay for any reinstatement fees, the addition exchange, and the cost of Barista itself. You would be responsible for the Basis license upgrade and SAM plan for Barista and the Enterprise Edition. There are several different paths that you can take to get your hands on the Barista application tool and get busy with your next application. For existing licenses, you can purchase Barista and add it to your existing Basis license or you can convert an existing license through the promo to a rental or annual subscription model. For new licenses, we offer Barista Up as a rental in the form of software as a service. We also will have a cloud offering at bbjcloud.com, which includes Barista. Lastly, I'd have you consider the ERP solution add-on software. Add-on software is available as a cloud offering, as a rental, and as an outright purchase. Lots of different ways to go, depending on what you and your client needs. Since this session is part of a series of how version 11 improves your bottom line, let's just take a quick look at some of the ways that the Barista enhancements in version 11 improve your bottom line. Well, first of all, we've shown you the new custom query definitions with their ability to access multiple tables, add new columns, deriving new columns, adding queries to forms, and a query interface to the power of Dockout and all the options that you have as a developer and as a user from our powerful Dockout feature. It also eliminates the reliance on third-party utilities. We've touched on that several times, be they fax, email, archiving, or the Google Doc interface. That's all built in. The productivity that Barista can bring into your development office provides you with an opportunity to reduce your application backlog. Power users can be taught to use the tool to design and format some of their basic query requirements. Developers can actually create new query definitions quite quickly, and I think we've shown that today. The bottom lines for both the end user and the developer can be improved through some of these efficiencies. You're able to serve more customers more productively without hiring or training any new staff. By empowering end users with some of these features and functions that they can do at their end, you're also going to have the opportunity to improve customer satisfaction with your project work. So in summary of today's session, let's see what we took a look at. We created a custom query and we were able to do all the following things with linking tables, new columns, we added the query to a form, we were able to filter that query, we are able to sort on multiple columns, and then of course, having done all that, we can quickly output the result to any number of different output types. We provided on the front end a Barista refresher, just to bring you back up to date as to what Barista is and some of its basic functions. Then we looked at the new query definitions, which is one of the key features that's been included in the version 11.1. Then we also looked at the one-step export to Dockout, a real simple little bridge that we built in there that will save time and build efficiency for the users. We talked about the Barista promotion, and then we spoke briefly about how all of these features can improve your bottom line. Our final session on August 17th, we will present our browser user interface, what we refer to as BUI, and cascading style sheets, which are most applicable on mobile devices, but really on any browser on your desktop as well. We will show you how to enable your desktop apps for the web and how to use the built-in Jetty server to serve up those apps to the World Wide Web.
CSS allows your buoy app to be customized in terms of look and feel while your BBJ code remains unchanged. Only the external CSS file has changed. So we'll see you on the 17th for that. And now let's take your questions.